Wow. Well, let's see how that there. comes together in let's a desperate it. attempt to try and play something other than dad blues with these guitars that, with the exception of this one, maybe don't lend themselves to dad blues. But there we are, look. So we've got some new Squire um, special run guitars uh, from uh, from the wonderful people at Fender and Squire. Yeah. You know uh, what I noticed on all of these Squires with the Sessie on the back here? It says, uh, welcome to Analysis TV. Oh, it does, doesn't uh, it? Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and when we hit, every time we hit another 10,000 subscribers, we give something away. When we hit a million, we're going to give away a real clone. Um, set it on all of them. It's all incredible them. They, they, they do that for us. Now, depending on whether you're feeling... I don't know, like you, you want to stand out less or stand out more, you could get yourself a Fender Squire Bass 6 guitar in either the uh, Olive Drab or the Silver Sparkle with the Torque Guard. It's the same guitar, just a different colour. Am I wrong in saying this looks like the that little glitter troll from Trolls? The one that's got this voice. <laughs> Guy Diamond. Is yeah, that the one? <laughs> yeah um, Guy Diamond. <laughs> that's a, he should play this. Or Steel Beans. Steel or Beans. One of those. Anyway, look. Oh, yeah. Um, do you want to just quickly take us through the, do, the, yeah. the, the sounds on the green one and then yeah. whether you, whichever one you prefer the colour of, that's the one you need to get. They're yeah, the exactly. same guitar. Um, and prices are good as well, aren't they? I mean, they're always Everything's good about on Squire. Do you know what? I don't even know. While you play, I'm going to look it up. Okay. Um, so on, this, on the jazz, on the, on the bass six, it's not a jazz a bass or anything. My God, it's so Monday today. It's got, um, it's a long scale link, but it's tuned the same way as a normal guitar. So you tune it from E to E. So when you do a chord, it's like playing a normal guitar. There's, there's no difference. You'll tune it and you'll play your chord. And there's a campfire out here tonight and it's gonna be so nice to have a fire and make some snowball milk pulsa e. That's for all you Danish people out there. Snowball. It's a funny design, isn't it, um, Bass 6? Because it, yes, it, 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 it came out in the 60s with all the other offset guitars that Fender were doing at the time. And it is literally yeah. an E to E. So it's, yeah. before, it's not a baritone. It predates, or I say predates, it's different. Yeah, it's not, it's not a B to B baritone no. thing. It really is a, a, yeah. like a, an electric guitar for bass guitar players or a bass it's guitar an, for electric guitar players. Which program is it? I think they, it wasn't the idea of, of, of adding some more low end and some more fatness and some more... Hugo, you might say, to uh, to bands Hugo. when they when they were they're lacking a little bit of in the is low that, end, as right? In is that Hugo. who you're talking about? Mahuga. That's a band. There's a Danish band called Hugo. Mahuga. Um, but the system on them are a little bit. Um, it's not confusing because once you know, you know. But basically, these are all on and off switches, one for each of the pickups. And then you've got this sort of a. Is it a low end sort of thing? I can't remember. What they call what it like it a is. strangle like, switch. Yeah, it's a or strangle like switch, that, isn't it? So. <laughs> Oh dear. And then you've got a volume and a tone, so at the moment, nothing. Does that pick up here? It's just weird to hear a bass guitar played with chords, isn't it? And the cool thing is, of course, you can have either these two together. I mean, I could, they could probably use a five-way switch, really. What, a five-way blade? Yeah. But how would you have all three on? In the middle so. position. Or, yeah, you've got two extra settings there, haven't you? You all do have three extra and, and, and All three. And out. I mean, the, the, the strings are, are thicker, so you, you know, look, you do get the little... Uh, what is it? It's like little... a 70, something like that, when I you're down on the, on the bottom E string. It's I not, don't know. They're not as thick as they would be on a traditional electric bass. No. But yeah, much, much thicker than a regular guitar. Um, and also, I'll put a bit of reverb, because it's always nice under one of these. Um, let's just go through them. So that was the... That's too much reverb. Hold, hold the heel up. Hold the heat fast. <laughs> Out in arm. This is great. <laughs> I want to speak Danish. You won't. Uh, then you can go these two together. Well, that's quite a quacky, isn't it? It is. Uh, you can have all. You can have. Oh my God! This is a bit. You can have the neck and the middle. Then you can have all three. Today's gonna be the day that I'm gonna throw it back to you. 
Well, I've never done that version. I've of done it. that. That's a good uh, version, I'm in the ballot for the next round of tickets for Oasis. Are you? Yeah, I missed out on the first time around, like many millions of people. <sighs> I'm, I'm in, not I'm unless there. I get some free tickets. I'm not going. Well, I, I pay face value for them. I'm slightly, you know. I'm not resent. paying five, six hundred quid well, for that, it. That's what I'm saying. I pay. I pay the hundred and fifty. And you know it's not going to happen anyway. So you're going to want your money. You, you think that? Ah, oh, yeah. We put bet on it now. I, I think they'll do it. <laughs> anyway, uh, here's the here's the bridge. That's like very nicely mm. in there. Liam and Noel. I think that's... And then a strangle switch. Sorry, sir. Yeah, no, go on. Actually, that probably works where if you're playing where there's a guitar player and a bass player and you're playing this, because it takes out... You mean if the other guy's got a regular bass? Yeah, yeah. If you, and you want to play like... So you're not going, you're not going. I want to strangle it. <laughs> I think more recently, the bass six kind of a, a, a drop tune alternative for heavy riffy overdrive well, that's, stuff that, I, more recently. I, I, I don't think so. I think that's just because you've seen it on recently on, uh, in, on Instagram yeah. and it's like, it comes in your head. There's people playing actually bass a lot of clean, but they're using it okay. as a bass instead of on lots of funky stuff, but you know. It's certainly the bass six, particularly I think Squire where you, I mean, I did look up the price by the way, these are uh, 4 dollars right, so right, right. I think there's a lot of people who probably wouldn't even entertain buying an instrument like this Cost if they had up. to do 2,000 <laughs> or 3,000 pounds. But at 500, I think there's a lot of people that just go, I'm just gonna see what comes, I'll just experiment, see what comes out. You know, it might just, a bit like we were talking with baritones earlier, a little bit of inspiration comes out. But just a tip, just, just a little a tip. bit, just I a little think bit it's of inspiration. A, I mean, it's certainly cool, right? I mean, it's look cool. At that. Matching, I mean, yeah. Both matching headstocks. So what are, you, what are you saying? You're saying sort of a. Well, that sort of. So, you know, I mean, more... I wonder also whether or not, I was thinking, should we have got like a pog in here or something like that? So yes. again, you can do that whole royal bloody kind of. Yes. Um, the royal bloody. That's more riffy, it's not really cordy, is it? I'm, I'm throwing that story in there. Uh, uh, it's Mike, I think, is the guy's name, isn't it, from Ooh. Royal Blood? He, he was in the store the other day. Yeah, and yeah, the guys, yeah. I, I'm quite a Royal Blood fan, but I'd never realised where they were from or anything. It turns out he's not a million miles away from here. And do you know what was super freaky? He was trying out gear, just like every, he, wanted, he just wanted to try out loads of pedals. It's, and it was so weird. He was behaving just like a normal customer, which I guess he was. Well, he is a normal, normal customer. customer. He was trying all the, all the pedals out. <laughs> But he was playing all the iconic Royal Blood stuff. Now I hear lots of those kind of old Royal Blood right. tracks in demo rooms with like kids playing yeah, it and yeah. fans playing it and stuff like that. But it was a bit weird to be sat in a demo room with him, like him playing all that stuff and it actually being... We were like John him. Mayer playing uh, slow dancing. Literally oh, was. Somebody else would look around the corner yeah. and it's flipping it actually John wasn't, But uh, yeah, so... Of uh, Jimmy Page that, playing... That cool. uh... Anyway, look. <laughs> So that's the yeah. base six, right? We yes. kind of want to move that's on. Cool, man. Yes, that's not. We've done videos on these before. Move on, man. Move um, on. It's nice to see some more Jaguars in the Squire range. I sometimes that's so think cool. the, the, I sometimes think Fender go to the Jazzmaster way more frequently than they go to the Jaguar, and, and I like the Jaguar. So again, if you're if you're not that's familiar cool. with the basic concept of the Jaguar, you've got the offset body came out in the 60s, offset body, but the shorter scale neck. Um, so it has a very different vibe to it, a, yeah. a looser feel on the strings and a different kind of sound. The pickups are very different as well, aren't they? From, from a jazz. From a jazz, from a jazz yeah. So, jazz and the, so you, you've got this concept of just basically a neck and a bridge pickup. Same idea that Pete was talking about here. So we've got some on-off switches and a, is this phase or strangle? I think it's, it's still strangle, strangle is yes. it? Okay, so we'll demo that in a minute. But then you've also got the lead and rhythm circuit. So we'll take you through some of these. I'll turn all my pedals off. And So we'll start off in this rhythm position, which is, I think, is 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 quite widely misunderstood, mostly here. And, and um, like me. So I'm rhythm position is neck only pickup with its own volume and tone uh -huh. and with a capacitor on the treble. So even if I just switch between the rhythm and the lead circuit, where in the lead position it's only the, the neck pickup engaged. Sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, you up here. <laughs> you can hear that treble rolled off.
that's a cool looking so thing. So I don't know, again, I'm going to hopefully, Oz will know, sort of what kind of guitar players would have been synonymous with using the, the rhythm circuit? Or guitar players? Mm. Or is it more sort of genre specific, maybe? It's just different sound, isn't it? Especially, especially yeah. with distortion and gain, it really makes a big difference. Okay, well, yeah. look, I, as far as I said, I suppose, yeah, it's just another setting for you. We've obviously got a, a volume. And a tone. So I guess the idea being you can set that up for your rhythm sound, funnily enough, hence it called rhythm, and then switch quite quickly down to a lead sound down here. Down here, we've got the uh, same kind of switching that Pete had on the, uh, on the bass six. So bass six. Uh, up is the on position. So that'll be this one. Put both together. And then elect to strangle or not, you know. We've got a cool <laughs> trem system on it. You know what we didn't do really as well on the bass six was sort of wibble around with the trem I did system. a little bit of wibble. Did a little bit of wibble. Yeah. I didn't wibble a lot because because you are paying four hundred ninety nine pounds, so I, you know, you're worried it might have. Worried issues. it might need. So I mean, it's 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 good. I would say, always suggest new set of strings on the setup. Yeah. And these guitars before they. But this is. It. It's very jangly. I don't necessarily know that without doing literally just a straightforward full scale length, you know, normal scale length to short scale length. You, it really gets across the, tona the tonal difference in, in a video like this. But it, it, I remember Rob Chapman once described it as having a more hoopy sound. And I, I kind of think that's quite a, sort of a, a good word. It, imagine stringing your guitar with elastic bands, but in a good way rather than steel strings. And I think that's what the shorter scale kind of... It adds that. that great. Um, yeah. when is, question for you. When, yeah. when do you get all of those uh, on a Fender? Do you have to go up to Fender Professional? to get all the same, because you don't get it on the new Player 2, do you? The new Player 2 has got a three-way switch, it doesn't have this. Yeah, that, I, I, Ventera you, doesn't, in, you might get it in Ventera. Ventera is fairly, know, I mean, obviously with Classic Vibe, what's pretty cool here is, I think what Pete's getting at there is, a lot of the time Fender will take a, a Jaguar or a Jazz Master uh, outline and essence with the pickups, but then they'll simplify switching and try to make it more popular yeah, for a, just, a modern guitar player. Whereas Classic Vibe has stuck Pretty much to the original. What's nice here again? We've got the we've got the Mustang uh, yes. bridge here, which yes. again the original Jaguar and Jazzmaster saddles had these uh, very fine yes. grooves in them. So it was really easy if you strummed hard for the strings to sort of jump across the grooves in the saddle. Uh, they um, have certainly used a bridge on this that doesn't do that. Ventera, you get them on Ventera. Yeah. yeah. Yes. But, It has been a long day. Um, you can get a replacement bridge, by the way. So for 52 quid on the website, I've just seen. So if you've got one of these with, with, not, with, with not the Mustang, but yeah, the original buy one. style. Yeah. It's, it's worth it. So even with loads of gain on it, still has a kind of that thinner, brighter, uh, I mean, it's just, it's been a super popular guitar over the years with all kinds of bands that want to sort of feel a bit more alternative than the bands that might just pick up oh, a Strat or a Telecaster. Um, Chris Buck plays one. He even plays a Squire one. Plays a Jaguar. Is it a Jaguar or is it a Jazz Master? Yeah, I think it's a Jazz Master. Okay. I mean, there's um, nothing, you can, people say, oh, you have to use this guitar for this kind of music. That's not no, right I, wrong, I, man. You can play whatever you want I for whatever music. I didn't music. mean it like that. You know, I think over the years, you've definitely had this sense that yeah, a lot a, of the hardcore offset following just is attracted to that guitar yeah. because they don't want to play something. Yeah, like a telecaster. I get playing. that. I get that. Um, it's a cool looking guitar. And look at that color, man. I was going to say sparkly, sparkly blue, blue with the matching sparkly headstock. Sparkly blue headstock. The top guard. Yes. I've always liked the extra chrome that you get on a on a Jaguar as well. Yeah. I think it's a very Quite very sick. pretty looking guitar. It is. These are only about four hundred quid as well. Wow. So. Yeah, I like that. Get I one like of those that. and put a, a mastery bridge on it. Anyway, 
I'm so much more comfortable with the fact that you've got a telecaster on your hands so that now we can at least just be a bit dad rock for the remaining five minutes dad of blues. this video. And it doesn't get any more dad blues than gold hardware, uh, double bound in a, what is this? Like Ox a, blood? Ox blood, yeah, ox blood, or, gold. I'll look it up, I'll look it up for you because it um, might not be. With a tint on the neck, look at that. It's a nice collar on the neck. And you know what a telecaster do, don't you? So uh, It is ox blood. It is a Squire Classic Vibe 60s telecaster custom Ox Club Custom. with gold hardware. Yes, yeah, pretty. Okay, so uh, normal Telecaster. I mean, uh, what congratulations, is that Pete. This is your nine thousandth <laughs> Telecaster review. <laughs> you know what I mean? What are you going to play on this one? With something oh. different. Oh my god! Please. I mean, it's just, it's a Telecaster if you want something that looks a bit different, isn't it? I mean, what else does, what else does it say? Uh, sa sadly, I, I'm kind of with you on that one. It is a, it is the same it, guitar that we've reviewed for you a hundred times before. A million before, times. In a like, cool new colour with gold hardware. <laughs> Let me tell you, there's a volume on here. <laughs> Turns it up and down. And it's got a tone. Middle. Bridge. Again, I like to say it's incredible value for money in the guitars. Squire, classic vibe, always. And the fact that you could get a double bound custom with gold hardware. This is great, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's very cool. It's very, very it's cool. Very cool. It's very it's pretty. Very cool. I like the combination of the ox yeah. with the gold. And if and you do the too, guard. then there's there's a link below. these are all uh, FSR, by the way. So Fender. No, somebody said it's not Fender special run. It's factory special run. Who knows? Yeah, because these uh, are not Fender. I guess he's right. So there you go, Fender. So, but the, these special run guitars, they're all obviously limited to the one production run that, that Fender or, or Squire do. So yeah. if you're watching this video thinking, that's the one, uh, obviously you need to dive in pretty quick and grab one. But that's it. Thank you so much now? for staying yeah. with us for another crazy half an hour. How long this video has been? <laughs> it feels like three hours. Uh, yes, my name's, I was about to say my name's Pete. My name isn't Pete. Sometimes I wish it was. Uh, He's better, Pete, yeah. I'm Lee, uh, we're off to get an early night, and uh, we'll see you in another video But tomorrow. not together though. Well, <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you should.